on this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. So this is what I learned recently this week. There was a country that was formerly known as Canaan and Jesus, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were selling there in the 1700s. And yes, that was 1700 BC, not 1780. Later, it was called the Land of Israel. Then in 931 BC, it was split into two countries. The Land of Israel had a capital city, which was then known as Samuel, and the Kingdom of Judah had a capital city, which was Jerusalem. I've learned that in the 16th century, which lasted until World War I began. The Ottoman Empire ruled the Middle East and the land was unofficially called Palestine. The Jews moved from Europe back to the region. The United Nations proposed a plan in 1947 to partition Palestine into two independent states. Right around 1948, Israel declared itself as an independent state. I also learned that Hamas is a Sunni Islamist militant group that aimed to destroy the state of Israel just to create the Islamic State. Hamas split from the Palestinian Authority and they gained power in the Gaza Strip, which was back in 2007. The U.S. Embassy moved to Jerusalem in 2018. Then it became peaceful after a ceasefire deal brokered by Egypt, Qatar, and United Nations, which came into effect in May 21st, 2021. And today, Hamas decided to blow up the buildings in Israel again, just over a week ago. And now you're gonna hear my initial thoughts on the two countries. Now, had the Arabs not settled in the land that was originally settled by Jesus, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob back in 1700 BC, that the Arabs settled on the Holy Land that originally belonged to the Kingdom of Israel in the 7th century. I think that Today's wars and the wars of yesterday, which was way before my time, back in the late 40s, or at least as far back as the late 1910s, I think that Israel, for what it was back then when Jesus settled there, would have been its own entire country today, not having to be very closely together lived the country now known as Palestine today. There would be no wars by Palestinian militants, which means that there would be world peace. But with the reality of today's world, I don't think the Palestinian government will give up a portion of the land that they took that originally belonged to Israel for, for what it was back then when Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob settled there. Hamas today would have never made their presence known in 1987. 
if Palestine itself didn't exist. But today, I feel bad for the citizens of Palestine and the citizens of Israel. And I hope that both citizens can just live in peace for a change. I really do. Because there's no need for a war to start, injuring and killing all citizens. Both countries should make a treaty like a forever peaceful treaty and dismantle Hamas and give most of the land back to Israel because the Jewish settlers came there first in 1700 BC. Every citizen in Israel would live there as normal. So I hope the Palestine government gives back portions of the land that they took for change and acknowledges that the land that they settled after the Jewish is not their land in the first place.